First, what is a grammar read? And second, I don't think we need to practice. I think we've done enough. Well, to answer your first question, a Grammy Award is the highest achieve, achieving music award. And people like Ariana Grande and Billie Eilish and Dina Long have all got Grammy Awards. Your second question? Well, let's ask the expert, who by chance is one of the Grammy Award winners himself. Good afternoon, Dana Leong here with TectonicMusic.org. We're here with a very special uh, episode of the TTLP vlog. I'm here joined by uh, two education experts at the Global Teacher Prize 2019. I'm here with Shelmoni and Leon. We're going to talk about the top issues of global education and make this happen. So what do you guys think? Hold on. Hello? <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, hold on. I'm in an interview. I'll, I'll call you right back, okay? Hold on. About your childhood. Tell me about your childhood. Tell you about my childhood. Okay. Uh, well, I was born in San Francisco, California, and my mother was a musician. So she was very famous. She was on television in Japan for many years. So she was my first music teacher. She taught me to play the piano at first, and then later I learned to play the cello, and I learned to play uh, the trombone. Do you know what the trombone is? Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, marching bands, right, in the U.S., India, with a trombone, long brass slide. So the way that it happened is actually uh, when I turned six years old, uh, uh, there's a guy in, uh, in the U.S. called Santa Claus. He came by my house and he bought a cello. And my mom was uh, very smart. She said, hey, you know, I, I know Santa Claus pretty well. If you don't practice the cello every day and become really good, he's not going to come back next year. I said, oh, man, so I better start practicing. So I got lessons. And I practiced every day, and guess what? Next year, Santa Claus showed up, and he brought me a trombone. Can you believe it? Oh, well, Leon can believe yeah, it. Yeah. I can believe it. You can. You're sure? Wait. Wait. Where's my question? Oh. 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 Okay. 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 Okay
I guess then I would have to say my mother was my very first toughest teacher, but I'm glad after all the years、uh, that I listened a little bit. I listened enough to what my mom told me, and、uh, it helped me to become a professional musician. She was very inspiring.、Uh, she always believed in me.、Uh, I think the important thing that、uh, you need to remember is that you know life is never easy. No matter where you're born or where you go, what you choose to do, but nobody's going to believe in you more、uh, than your mom and your dad. Okay. So, did you have any pets growing up? I did. I had a lot of pets. My my mom、uh, was a, a big fan of animals, so we had a lot of cats, a lot of dogs. I had、uh, fish and、uh, turtles. I had one turtle in New York,、uh, still alive, actually, almost、uh, 18 years old. Can you believe that? It's like a.、Yeah. Is that like how old are you? Is that like triple your age? Nine. You're nine. It's double, double. your age. Yeah. Wow. Turtle, double your age. That sounds like a souvenir. Yeah, it wasn't all at once, <laughs> but、uh, you know, like, over the years. Yeah, one dog, one cat. Yes. What type of cello did you play? What type of cello? Oh, okay.、Uh, so when I first started, I played a very, very small cello, about. The size of a big violin.、Uh, okay. and it was made in Japan by the Suzuki company. And then, as I grew, I had to get more and more cellos. And、uh, currently, you know, actually, it's an interesting question.、Uh, I've had the same cello since I was about 14,、uh, and now I'm、uh, almost 40. 39 as of last week. Yeah, it just kept getting bigger and bigger. And bigger. you're you're you're、uh, animating the、uh, growth of the cello. I see over here. Yeah, it just keeps going, right? It's like. Out of this world.、Uh, imagine that if it kept growing.、Uh, so I've had the same cello. It's a French cello for a long time, and I have a couple different ones. You saw this morning I played an orange cello, which is an electric cello. It sounds like an electric guitar.、Right? Yeah, and what electric、um, cello did you play?、Uh, that、what? one is one that I designed with the Yamaha Corporation. I consulted with them in Japan, and now、uh, you can buy that cello everywhere. It's called a silent cello. Because you can plug in headphones and listen to it through headphones, or you can plug it into a speaker and like rock out like a、uh, you know like a rock star, like a guitar player. Who made your cello? Who made the cello? Uh, so, uh, like I said, we designed it in Japan at、uh, the Yamaha Corporation, and now、uh, some wonderful people in、uh, Japan actually、uh, handcraft each one. And,、uh, it goes through、uh, a global distribution network and it's sold all over the world. What type of music do you play? What type of music do I play? I am constantly、uh, mixing genres. You know what genres are? They're like types of music, styles of music. So my two favorite styles of music right now are classical and electronic, and I put them together. I have a symphony orchestra of our own, our Tectonic Symphony, that mixes traditional instruments with electronic instruments. It's super fun because I think it、uh, kind of balances both worlds. With Like the exciting part of electronic music, but kind of the melodic and like beautiful side of classical. And P.S. And P.S. Interview. You can continue with your banana call. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yes, we're, we've got the,、uh, the prime minister on hold right now. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> on, on the other end of the, the banana call. Um. So, what's your favorite animal? My favorite animal. Uh, I think that lately I've been.、Uh, Very entertained with、uh, any type of dog that has a kind of a pig face. Yeah. How, how about you?、Um, like French bulldogs, pugs. I would say, I would say pugs. Oh, really? We're, we're、um, on the same page, huh? Um, um, golden retriever. Okay. Okay. Do you guys have dogs?、Uh, no. no, but we really want one. Fresh. Oh, okay. I, I, I have a fresh. The fresh, fresh tail looks really beautiful. It's a fighter fish. Yeah, yeah. Those are very unique. My favorite animal would probably be. A, I don't know. My favorite pet is definitely a dog. Why、like、are adorable? My mine is. Um, my my favorite animal All of is a blue whale. Really? You gonna get、yeah. a pet blue whale someday? Yeah,、uh, really. All right. And I also you guys. and I also like um um a whale shark, a cheetah, a jellyfish. Wow. I wish to be jellyfish. They live forever, but 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 they can die if some if they if if other sea animals eat them. But 
Right. But they, but they, uh, but, but they go like bigger, bigger, bigger. They, they, they literally never die um, of age. They never die of age. Wow. Okay. Some, I did not know that. some types of jellyfish. Some types. Yeah, not all types. All right. Don't, to, don't get your hopes yeah, up for jellyfish enthusiasts out there. Uh, what's your favorite color? Favorite color. My goodness, uh, I feel like it changes every year, but uh, right now I really love uh, uh, orange. So my cello is orange, and a lot of the things that I have around me is bright orange. Except your banana. Except my banana. banana yeah, I know. Yeah, I gotta get a new one. I gotta get this year's model. Maybe, maybe you should like to draw with an edible, um, with an edible marker. Edible marker. Uh, color it. Or like edible chalk. Um, no, edible marker, like, yeah, like, put the buttons. And then what? And then, like, just put the buttons on it. And it'll well, I mean, like, uh, oh, oh, on this. Yeah. I thought, okay, I thought you said, I thought you were saying I should draw with the banana. <laughs> it's almost like uh, drawing frosting on a cake, right? You could actually, you just yeah, hollow you just that out, just mash the banana, and then you just stick frosting you the just cake. Di um, di um, disconnect with the, the mashed banana. Um, um, uh, um, you Absolutely. just disconnect. Um, um, uh, uh, yeah, just um, disconnect uh, your friend maybe, before you do or that. Maybe, right. Or maybe you just cut um, the, this part and then yeah, poke the this. Um, and then poke and this inside. Okay. And then you can work with it. That's right. Absolutely. And then freeze it, and then you, you can work with it. Okay. You don't want to, okay. your pen up. So you guys are a good team. I like this. All right. So what was your funniest moment growing up? Oh man, I think it's got to be right now. I'm still growing up and this is pretty <laughs> hilarious to me. I think, I think the funniest moment is, is now because you just now laughed. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, yeah. this is the, the exactly. best moment of all. So... Name one Name of the songs you know how to play. How to play. Oh my god, wow, you guys uh, said it in stereo. Uh, let's see, one of the songs I know how to play. Uh, I know how to play Yesterday by the Beatles. You guys know who the Beatles are? Beatles, no. Uh, no. no, but uh, how do you play Yesterday? Do you just like get everything that <laughs> happened yesterday and put them in the music? Absolutely, yes. Okay. I believe in Yesterday. We have to go back in time. Did, so. That's right. Um, did, 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 make did a time make... portal appear now. Okay. <laughs> I really need actual music to make that happen. Time portal. But would it be in back okay, of us if it's yesterday? Perhaps. Uh, all right. Okay. I read. This is all my money. <laughs> all right. Fantastic. Okay. Um. Do you plan on orchestra? As a child, I did play in an orchestra, as a youth orchestra, and then most recently, as I mentioned, we created our own orchestra. And sometimes we have up to 50 people that travel with us and play how, concerts. How, how many people are in the orchestra? Well, <laughs> it varies. <laughs> it, it does vary, <laughs> you're right. Sometimes yeah, there's up the, to 50 people. Counting the, um, counting the, the guy conductor. who conducts, that would be me. Um, <laughs> So, including me, yeah, uh, up to 50 sometimes. 50 people. Imagine that. I was thinking 128. Yeah, well. Is that like, then, does the uh, 120 seem to be your favorite number range or something? Are, are you asking Leon or are you asking me? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What's your favorite Him number? Probably. My favorite <laughs> number. That is a great question. You know, in Chinese, the, the number 8 is actually very good luck. So, a number like 88 or 888 or 8,888 would be... Uh, or... Or... Oh my gosh, can you read that? Oh my god! Alright. Goodness gracious. So wait, wait, so... Look at all those digits. You definitely are your father's son. 8... Eight, eight point. It's eight, just growing by the eight, by the eight, 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 a billion gazillion. Eight billion gazillion. Oh, point. Okay, so now we've eight, come to a. Oh, all right. Eight. Yeah, yeah. Eight. So what do we got here? Let's uh, eight, split this up by commas. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. We got eight, eight, eight million. Eight. Eight hundred eighty thousand. Eight hundred eighty-eight. Eight. eight. You're I hope, we're, I hope we're talking strong currency here. What are we talking? Pounds? Are we talking? Uh, 
Uh, we're talking dollars. euros. We're talking dollars. We're talking dollars. All right, dollars. I want to have, um, that. yeah, dollars. All right. My favorite number would probably be, I don't know how to put it in a million, but one, one, two, one, 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 two, three, three, zero, three, one. My favorite and number. Why is that? My because it's is it your like, birthday or something? What's going on here? No. Um, <laughs> that's <laughs> What's Leon's here? birthday. That's my oh, birthday. You, that's, how did I know? We're connected. We got this thing going, you and me. That's right? my mom's birthday. And daddy. Day, no, that's my dad's birthday, and that's my mom's birthday. Okay. Oh, Do you know what's my favorite thoughtful. number? 1,300 million. Oh, sorry. Okay. Um. How does it feel winning a Grammy Award? Oh gosh. Uh, I would say it feels surprising. Right? Surprising. Uh, you never know uh, what could happen to you in your life. Right? Uh, and you always have to be thankful for uh, you know, the little things, right? Being healthy, having your family around you. And uh, you know, if you work hard and you have uh, you know, a good mind, which I believe both of you do, then a lot of great things are gonna happen to you uh, throughout the course of your life. So, uh, yeah, just uh, I would say it's surprising in a good way. So, what do you find relaxing? What I find relaxing? Uh, you know, these days I like to sleep. That's pretty relaxing. Uh, I like eating good food. I like laughing, like with you guys. Uh, I love to travel, uh, to see beautiful places in the world. He wants to, he likes to travel to the Burj Khalifa because he really wants yes. to go to the top. Me too. I can't wait. You got to cut that into your video too. And right? yeah. you get to the top of the Burj Khalifa. That's going to be awesome. We're just going to copy, cut, and just like magically taste yep. us in the, the top of the Burj Khalifa. Absolutely. Yeah. Maybe you can make like time portal effects. Yeah, but, but that's going to go or later on. Or maybe we can go, or maybe we can time pull to the future, and in the future we're going to, because I can't wait to go to the, to the Burj Khalifa, so I time pull to, to the future, to the future, and we go to the Burj Khalifa, and yippee yippee, and then I go and time pull back, and then I join them. Wait. That'll be a bit confusing if, if I time pull back, because I might, it might not be in the same time. <laughs> Time traveling. Uh, wait, do you Maybe think... you have one more question. Of course. But do you think it would be very relaxing if you're sleeping and you've got a really bad dream? Ooh, okay. So that's a, that's a, that's a hard one, right? Yeah. Sleeping with a bad dream or not sleeping at all? Yeah. Which one? Not sleeping at all. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm wow. Terrible. And keeping everyone else up around you? Yeah. If I can't sleep, nobody can sleep. <laughs> yeah, that's a tough one. But I think I would, I value all types of sleep. You know? I think uh, uh, they say like when you when you fall asleep and you have dreams, it's your brain processing the, pa the problems you have in your life. So sometimes it's not going to be fun. Right? You might have some scary dreams, but you'll still be, uh, it will still be beneficial. It won't be real. Uh, yeah, I hope it won't be real, but they will be beneficial for your brain and your body to rest. So what do you do to take your mind off things? What do I do to take my mind off of things? Well, sometimes I, uh, you know, make videos with uh, my friends, right? Like what we're doing right now. Uh, I like to do photography. I like to go diving into the ocean. I like to ride motorcycles. I like to do all sorts of things. Yeah. Um, just extra question. Do what? you like playing pranks? Oh, do I? <laughs> what school are you in for? Oh, absolutely. No, I, I Yes. Do you have one in mind that we can pull off before the end of the weekend? Um, I know. Perhaps. I am not sure. Okay. Hold on, tell, tell our friends listening at home.
Just writes itself. Especially if they have watermelon juice. Oh my god. Yeah. You guys like water, huh? Water jokes. Okay. Very good. Very good. All right. What goal are you aiming for? What goal am I aiming for? Sustainable whatever goal. What sustainable goal? Sustainable whatever goal. As in which sustainable development goal? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so there are 17 of them, right? And I believe in all of them. It is going to be a lot of work for us to be able to accomplish them all in the next uh, decade or so. Uh, but for me, I believe that uh, you know, well-being, you know, people's health, people's stress, people's uh, you know, mental and spiritual health is very, very important. Uh, people's education, quality education. I think, I think the equal one. Equality for all people? Absolutely, I'm with you on that. Yeah. Equality? Ecological? Eco. Eco. Yeah, E C O. As in. You know, like recycling and everything? Yes, absolutely. That's, yeah. that's uh, harmony with the uh, environment. The tree, yeah. right. environment. Ocean. Very good, very good. You know, like. Is that a fish? Tree, you know, ocean. The, yeah. Uh, Should we get a coral. nice a shot of this and blow this up for, <laughs> for the you viewers at home? The one with the tree and the one with the absolutely, fish. absolutely, yes. So sustainability thank a, you for yes, being thank here you. and doing this interview. Thank you. That's all for us today. Thanks for talking, G and cut. End of the this story. is amazing. I can't believe uh, I'm so honored to be on uh, episode number two. I can't wait to look back and uh, you know when you hit episode 100 and say I was there at the very beginning and when if, you guys are uh, world famous with your. If it's uh, episode two, it can't be episode, so what's episode 100? one. Uh, I believe you had one already with uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah with, uh, with our uh, with our colleague. I think you. Oh, is it? Oh. You know what, guys? I think I gotta take this, but thank you, and it's been amazing, and I'll see you around very soon. Uh, follow these two online, and uh, we'll see you uh, on the other side. Be well. Everybody take care of each other. Hello. <laughs>